Hi guys, this is John with Music Greatness. Today we're looking at Father Time by Kendrick Lamar, starting with the intro, which sounds like this. All right, so what you just heard there was the intro to Father Time. Now this is basically a series of five chords that are broken up and arpeggiated. So let's take a look. First of all, we have a C9 sus4. So that's for the left hand C, G and C, again an octave higher. And then for the right hand, D and F. And for each of the first four chords, the left hand will have the same kind of pattern, which is a root, then fifth, and a root an octave higher and then the right hand will have two notes. So for the next chord we have D7 sus2. D, A and D for the left hand, C and E for the right hand. So from the previous chord the left hand came up and the right hand came down. The third chord is a G minor but it doesn't have a third. So this is G, D and G for the left hand and D and F for the right hand. And just like before, the left hand will come up and the right hand will come down. So the fourth chord is an A minor. That's A, E and A, and then C and E for the right hand. The one final chord is structured a bit differently. This is a B flat major seven over C. So this is C in octaves for the left hand, and then the right hand has a B flat major seven chord. So if you look at a B-flat major 7 in root position, it looks like this. And what we've done is we've taken the A down the octave, so it's like this. So that's B-flat major 7 over C. So as I say, these chords are going to be arpeggiated. So what that means is for the left hand, you're going to do the root, then the fifth, then the root, then the fifth again. So for the first chord, that will be C, G, C, G. The next chord would be root, fifth, root, fifth, again, so D, A, D, A. The next chord would be G, D, G, D, followed by A, E, A, E. So that's the pattern for the left hand. And for each of these chords, the right hand will alternate between the upper note and the lower note back and forth. So one, two, three, four. Then for the next chord, you've got your E and C. Then the next chord is F, D, F, D, followed by E, C, E, C. So that's the whole of the first four bars. And in fact, the next four bars are exactly the same. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you'll notice that I'm playing these separately as opposed to smooth, which would be like this. So each of them is detached. It's not exactly staccato because staccato would be extremely short like this. So it's somewhere in the middle. So for that first section, what we're doing there is imitating the sounds of the strings that you hear on the record. Whereas the next section, this is the part when we actually hear a piano on the record for the first time. So here, we're going to be arpeggiating this chord in a slightly different pattern to what we did before. We're just going to play the C once, and that's going to be held out throughout the whole of the next six bars. And the pattern in which we're now going to play these right hand notes goes like this. B flat, A, F, D, F, D. 
and it just does that on repeat six times. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and etc. And we're also now in a different time signature. We've now got three beats per bar. So one, two, three is one bar. And we have six of these in total. And another detail to realize about this section is that we're not actually playing it in a regular tempo, which would be one, two, three, one, two, three. What actually happens on the record is that they start it slower and then it immediately starts to speed up for the next two bars. And then it comes back down again until the very end where it's going very, very slowly. So like this. And then slow down again. until the very end where it's extremely slow and quieter as well. And one last thing to add now, which is that if you hold down the pedal as you play this C in the left hand, that will sustain throughout the rest of this section. So we don't need to play it anymore. And that will allow your left hand to come over the top so that you can play the F and the D. And it'll just be the F and the D, so the first four notes of the bar. One and two and three and one and two and three and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the final bar, you just do the right hand on its own. The left hand doesn't do anything. All right, guys, now that we've broken down that first section, let's hear the whole thing one more time at full speed. And that's it for the first part of this tutorial. If you'd like to learn the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com where we'll be looking at the verse and the chorus. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one.